Hi, Psych2Goers, and welcome back to another video. Thank you so much. Your love and support has enabled us to send your way another wealth of everyday psychology. So let's explore. Sometimes feelings can be obvious. Other times they may not be. This can make you question whether somebody has romantic feelings for you. The old age question here is, is this person flirting with me because they have feelings for me or are they simply being friendly? Knowing the subtle differences can save you the dreaded embarrassment. So how do you know when people are hiding their feelings? Before we begin, please note that this video is purely for educational purposes only and is not designed to suggest that if people do show these signs that they definitely have feelings for you. It's best to talk to the person in question and discuss this to make sure that you're on the same page. After all, communication is key. With that in mind, here are nine signs that somebody may be hiding their feelings for you. Number one, they will pay you a lot of attention. Are they regularly inviting you out, constantly calling and texting you and asking your friends about you? If the answer is yes, then it appears that there is already a foundational relationship that has been established. The best indicator of a crush, love or attraction is attention. What a person does and how they act around you explains everything you need to know. The key is to observe with your eyes and not just with your heart. Number two, their body language will be different around you. Do you often notice them facing and leaning towards you when they talk to you? Are their gestures open, relaxed, and welcoming? You've probably heard before that the body doesn't lie. So if you want to know how you can tell if someone likes you or not, pay close attention to what this person's body language is telling you. A relaxed and open body posture around you generally shows that the person is okay with being vulnerable around you and trusts you enough to let you into their comfort zone. It can be a sign of trust, respect, and oftentimes even care. Just make sure that you don't confuse romantic interest with shyness because shyness doesn't necessarily indicate romantic attraction. Number three, pay attention to their eye contact and nonverbal communication. Do you notice them looking at you more often? Are they extra cheerful or smile frequently and talk more than usual when with you? The next time you're with the person in question, note how often they look at you. Harvard psychologist Zick Rubin found a correlation between eye contact and love. In his study, couples deeply in love look at one another 75% of the time while talking, while other people engaged in conversation only look at each other about 30 to 60% of the time. If they want to leave a good, long-lasting impression by sounding enthusiastic, inquisitive, and jolly, it's a dead giveaway that this person likes your company and cares about your impression of them. So it's imperative to try and figure out if they are putting in a lot of effort. This could be a sign that this person is into you. Number four, they'll do things to show that they care. Do they text you or call you after you spend time together to make sure you got home safe? Do they regularly ask your friends about you? Do they offer to help you without you asking them first? Their interest in your well-being may be another sign that they care about you and how you're doing or feeling. However, these subtle things could easily be confused with a caring friend as well. But if you find that they'll go out of their way to check in with you, then it is possible that they have a crush on you or have feelings for you. Number five, they may be overly curious about you. Do you find them asking you questions about you and your life? Do you find that they wanna know more about you and what makes you who you are? People who are trying to get to know others may be hiding their feelings behind their burning curiosity. It might be so that they can communicate in your language and talk about the things you enjoy talking about. Asking you a lot of questions essentially intends to encourage you to talk about yourself and open up about your life. This is a basic human technique that most of us use on a daily basis, perhaps without even knowing it. They would ask questions subliminally and often without awareness with the intention of developing more of a relationship with you. Number six, they may offer you compliments and affection. Do they compliment on your looks, clothing style, taste in music, and so on? Do compliments mean anything at all? Attitude plays a huge role in whether a person likes you or not when it comes to relationships. So pay close attention to how a person communicates to you. It's important to say that we should not assume that just because somebody compliments you, that means that they like you in a romantic way. However, it also doesn't mean that if somebody doesn't compliment you, that they aren't into you or that they don't like you. Some people just don't know how to compliment or might not feel comfortable doing so. However, if you notice that they may be complimenting you excessively, that may be a sign that a person is interested in you because they want you to feel good. This person wants you to like them and give them the validation that they crave. The person in question may be investing in you and wants you to feel secure and comfortable around them. 
Number seven, they may act unusual around you. Have they ever stumbled over their words or become tense or nervous when you show up? Do they tell awkward jokes or even pull away suddenly and unexpectedly? These are actually counterintuitive signs that someone likes you. Dating expert Matthew Hussey states that people will act differently around you than they do with other people. You may even notice that their energy levels will go up when they're around you. Number eight, they may show off in front of you. Do they try and stand out in a crowd when you're together? Another way to tell if someone secretly likes you is to look at their behavior. This could be down to two things, high ego or their feelings for you. To find out which it is, be aware of the way this person communicates to you. Do you get the feeling that they're eyeing you for a positive reaction and is trying to impress you? Are you the only person they do this to? If yes, then the person may be interested in wanting to get to know you romantically and share their feelings with you. And number nine, they'll find excuses to spend time alone with you. Do they ask to make plans with you where it's just you and them? Or do you often find them agreeing to everyday adventures with just the two of you? When a person has feelings for someone, they would want to spend most of their time with them as this could present itself with romantic opportunities. They may suggest hanging out after school or ask for some help with work. So when you suspect that someone likes you and you like them back, set up a date, invite them out and see what happens next. You'll quickly understand how emotionally invested this person is in you and decide whether you wanna pursue a relationship with them. We hope we were able to give you insight into some of the ways you can tell if someone likes you. Do any of these describe your experience? What are some of the signs you've noticed? Leave a comment down below about your experiences and please feel free to share any thoughts you have as well. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button and share it with those still figuring out whether someone likes them or not. Don't forget to subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell for more new videos. And thanks for watching.